how reproduction in human beings takes place. Observe the table showing human developmental stages, the male reproductive system. Testis and penis are the main reproductive organs of male reproductive system. Testis produces sperm's male germ cells. As formation of sperm require temperature lower than the normal body temperature, testis are located outside the abdominal cavity in the scrotum. Testis secrete hormone, testosterone, which brings about changes in boys during puberty. Epididymis Immature sperm travel to the epididymis for development and storage. Vas deferens It is a passage through which the sperm travel towards the urethra. Seminal vesicle and prostate glands produce ejaculatory fluid which helps the sperm in transport and provides nutrition. Penis Portion of reproductive system that deliver the sperms to the site of fertilization. Sperms A sperm cell is composed of a head which carries the genetic information, a middle part which carries mitochondria required for energy production and a tail which is like a flagellum to help in movement towards the female germ cells. The female reproductive system, vagina, uterus, oviduct and ovaries are the main reproductive organs of female reproductive system. Vagina It is a muscular tube that extends from the vaginal opening to the uterus. It provides the route for the menstrual blood to leave the body during menstruation. It is a pathway through which sperms enter into woman's body and is a pathway through which a baby comes out of the woman's body during childbirth. Uterus Uterus is a muscular organ. Due to strong muscles and ability to expand and contract, the uterus can accommodate a growing fetus and can push the baby during labor. Oviducts Connect uterus to the ovary. Ovaries Two oval-shaped organs lie to the upper right and left of the uterus. They develop and release eggs into the oviduct. Secretes hormone estrogen which brings about changes in girls during puberty. When a baby girl is born, the ovaries already contain thousands of immature eggs which remain inactive till maturity. On reaching puberty, a woman's ovaries usually release one egg each month. Menstruation When the egg is not fertilized, this unfertilized egg along with blood and mucus form a flow which leaves the uterus. This is called menstruation which lasts from 3 to 5 days. At birth, the female ovary contains approximately 2 to 4 million eggs. After birth, new eggs are not added. Out of these eggs, only about 400 are destined to be ovulated, while all others degenerate during development so that only a few remain by the age of 50. Thus, eggs ovulated near the age of 50 are 30 to 40 years older than those ovulated just after puberty. This aging of eggs can cause defects in children born to older women. Fertilization, Development and Birth The sperms enter through the vaginal passage, travel upwards and reach the oviduct where they may encounter the egg. As soon as it is fertilized, the egg cell, zygote, begins to divide until it becomes a ball of cells called a blastocyst. This ball then implants itself in the wall of uterus. The development of embryo takes place inside the uterus where the embryo gets all the nutrients and oxygen from its mother's blood in the oviduct supplied through the umbilical cord. From nine months onwards, the baby is ready to take birth. It moves down. During birth, the cervix gradually opens and the baby is released through vagina. How Twins Are Born 
Sometimes a single fertilized egg may get split and separated into two parts during the early stage of cell division. Each part then develops into a separate individual. As these two individuals are produced from a single zygote, they look similar and are called identical twins, either both boys or both girls. Sometimes, two eggs are released from ovaries simultaneously and get fertilized to produce two individuals. As these two individuals are produced from different zygotes, they are dissimilar, either both boys or both girls or one boy and one girl. Population Facts The population of world has reached 7 billion in 2011. With the present trend of population growth, India is likely to overtake China and be the world's topmost in population by the year 2025. Students, do you know that July 11th is observed as World Population Day? Needs for and methods of family planning There is undoubtedly a strong relation between high national fertility rate and measures of poverty. As the population density increases, decrease in per capita income and natural resources takes place. General health also goes down. It creates an economic burden on the nation. Large families affect both the individual as well as community life. Economic pressure, mother's poor health, children neglected at home, poor housing, malnutrition, insufficient medical care, lack of better education are some of the disadvantages of large family size. Limited family is advantages to the individual as well as to the nation and ultimately to the entire human race. For better future of mankind, the rate of growth of human population must be reduced. Another problem related to human reproduction is the spread of sexually transmitted diseases, STDs. STDs spread from an infected person to a healthy person by unprotected sexual contact. Syphilis, gonorrhea, AIDS are some of the common sexually transmitted diseases which affect sexual health of human beings. To protect individuals from these STDs, Sex education and preventive measures are necessary. Use of condom not only protects individuals from STDs but also helps in population control. Contraception to avoid pregnancy and to keep sexual health can be achieved by the use of condoms, oral pills, copper tea and some other methods. The WHO has prepared guidelines and considered reproductive health as a fundamental human right.